Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Episode 9. As you know, my current mission is to land on the moon, wherever it is. Probably on the other side of the planet right now, but not important. What is important though is I need a lot of money to build a giant booster that I'm going to be building in this episode and launching and testing. Also, I really want to get this to 1 million. We're at 923,962 dollars, Kerbin bucks, whatever you want to call those. It looks like a V, I don't know. Point is, I'm gonna come right in here, and I've already did this. I actually accepted this mission right here, but I was using the wrong microphone, that's why I had to restart. Anyways, I just need to test this heat shield, throw it right into the ocean right over here. Easy peasy, let me do that real quick and see how much money we get after that. Alright, so go ahead and test that heat shield by throwing it into the water. Don't, oh, don't do something crazy, dude. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot a parachute. This capsule in the front, that's not a pilot, luckily, because I forgot my heat, sh or my parachutes totally forgot those. Now this thing's just gonna slam into the water. No harm, no foul, because no one's gonna die today. This is a waste of money, but at least no one died, you know? There we go. <laughs> Alright, that looks ridiculous, but it, it'll do. You know, I'm not really worried about the looks of it. You know what? Mm. Hold on. Because it spun out like crazy last time. I mean, it still made it into the water, but I kind of feel like putting some wings on it. 25 bucks each. That's not bad. It'd be 75 bucks if I wanted to put like a, a tri formation on here. Do I care? No, I made it in the water. We're fine. Launch. Okay, you guys. So now we're back out onto the launch pad, this time with a parachute. Which is imperative. Okay, so let me check my staging real quick. Looks good. Let's do that again. Can I get rid of my HUD? How do I what? There we go. Alright. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Okay, just like I said, I didn't really think that I needed the wings, but maybe I do, so let's get the cheap ones. Put them on like this. Alright guys, lunch number three. Hopefully this is the, the charm. I didn't think this job would be so hard. I mean, I'm just trying to get this thing in the water, but... There we go, that's way better. Okay, guarantee we'll make it this time, for sure. Go ahead and deploy my parachutes now, and I'll see you guys down in the water. And here comes the shadow. <coughs> Splash. Alright, very good. Now what I need to do, I think I just press square on it. Yeah, run test. Perfecto. Alright, so my next mission is to test out this little engine here. I don't exactly remember how I'm supposed to do that, but I'm going to bring the throttle all the way down. Okay, it works I guess. And then I'm just not even going to use the fuel because I can recover it for more money. I'm barely even getting money for these. They're only like, I don't know, 10,000 at a time. Alright, well I'm just going to go ahead and grind these out, and when I get a million dollars, then I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so I just started recording because I thought that this was a pretty awesome mission that I just went on. I believe this is the first time I had a fairing on this channel, so this is pretty much how it works. I had to wait for it to get into this altitude here, but I'm going to go ahead and deploy it now. Boom. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, and what that does is a little aerodynamic. It uh, protects your payload, uh, because this obviously is a very aerodynamic. But this giant ring here is the other mission that I'm going to do when I hit the ground. I just need to check it. But unfortunately, all that stuff that I just shot off... That's now all space junk that is, yes, in an orbit that will never come back down. That sucks, but that's space. Oh, boys, do you see that? How close we are? We're less than 5,000 away right now. I'm going to build something really stupid and maybe it'll work. <laughs> it actually worked, you guys. This thing looks like a little flying saucer. That's funny. All right, so run tests. Boom. Look how easy that is, and this is all kinds of cheap. Like this thing's only 200 bucks. This thing's like 100 bucks. I don't, I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna recover that, and we should have over a mil now. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Checks out. 
So we are now one million five hundred four Kerbal dollar things. Sweet. So now I'm gonna go ahead and build a ginormous booster to actually get us to the moon. I've got a lot of money to spend on it, so I'm gonna go crazy. Urgh. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing for this booster is I'm gonna be using something called asparagus staging, which I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys just an example of what that means by just grabbing a couple of uh, just small parts, just kind of like so you know what I'm doing. That's maybe too many. I'll, I'll use four for this example. But what's cool is if you use this little fuel pump, you can actually run fuel from one to the other. That way, I'm using this, and the fuel is running out out of... But, I mean, I can run all of them, actually, now is what's going on. But I'm only using fuel out of, say, these two. So all of them are burning, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to stage these two, and they're going to fly off, and then these two are going to be pulling the fuel from this out and then when these boosts off when they come off all that fuel goes into these so these are always running but yeah twice as much burn time as these ones if that makes sense but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a big version of this there if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now is I'm actually linking the tanks together with these fuel transfer lines so that they will be able to transfer the fuel when I jettison them all right, so now I'm back to the uh, the beginning, but you don't want to link up the last one because that wouldn't really make sense because it's going to be the first one that you ditch. So this wouldn't really go anywhere. What you want to do is take this last one and connect it to the main booster in the middle. You don't have to do this, but it does make it so that you can run your center thruster at the same time as all these outside ones. And it'll have full fuel when it's done. These ones are going to go, and then these ones will. And then hopefully these are all in order, because I'm just going to kind of pull them down like this. Don't do that. There. Alright, you guys. So this is our payload. Is it extreme with the amount of parachutes I have on it? Yes. Is that because it is fat as hell? Yes. Is it maybe too extreme? I don't know. The point is, I need to test this booster down here to make sure that it can actually lift a ton of weight, which this is. And this is all full of fuel, and that's why I need so many parachutes. And I don't want to just waste it, so I'm going to go ahead and try to recover most of it. That's why I got so many parachutes. But I want to see if it can actually push that up, because that's a ton of weight. And if I can lift that up, then I could probably put, uh, you know, a, a Earth to Moon transfer stage, and then a landing stage, and all the science modules I need. But I also don't have a way to bleed all this fuel, so I'm going to have to try to land it. That's why I also got a bunch of landing legs on the bottom, because if one of them breaks, you know, it's got a bunch of them. It's still going to be stable. So, <laughs> oh, this is insane. Those are the fuel tanks that we've been using so far. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, I forgot a parachute, so I'm just going to pop one of the good ones on the top of that. And I'll just leave it because it looks kind of funny. Boom. Okay, guys. Now everything is all staged properly, I believe. Should be. And I think staging an asparagus stage type rocket is probably the hardest thing to do, especially when you got parachutes trying to recover each one of the little boosters falling off because they have to be like all in order and on both sides at the same time and multiple stage things happening at once. I went ahead and made a emergency abort just in case something bad happens, which is both these thrusters burning at the same time and then detaching from right there, which has my cabin. Pretty crazy. And then of course the parachute on top. It's kind of funny because that, that piece there looks like a RTD2 or something. Okay guys, so I've now finished moving all the parts around. They should be staging at the right time I think I've literally spent almost 20 minutes on just moving this stuff around and I don't know if you guys can tell but my game is starting to get a little laggy so I might have to boot my system up multiple times just to test this out but it's all for the great cause right and because this is the booster that's going to be supposedly sending me to the moon I actually went ahead and named it the Armstrong booster the launch pad can't support vessels heavier than 140 tons 
Armstrong's total mass is 302.7 tons. What you call him, fat or something? So the upgrade's pretty expensive, but like I said, that's why I went and earned a bunch of money. Upgrade. I don't know if I saw anything happen, but... Fully upgraded. Unlimited, unlimited. Okay, good. Holy hell, you guys. Holy crap. <laughs> Alright, so I'm pretty sure, like, when it gets laggy like this, it distorts my voice. So I'm not gonna talk for this launch. I'm just gonna focus on not killing my brand new pilot. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a T minus on here. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. So that didn't work. I'm at full throttle right now as well, so... Okay, let me actually go ahead and cut that. Holy crap, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it like this. Hopefully this isn't a bad idea. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna grab the main fuel engine. Holy crap, grab it. Good. I'm gonna come down to the bottom. Oh boy, the lag right there. Can I just turn this on? Activate engine. Okay. Now I do believe that is an activated engine. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm going to go max thrust. Oh my god. Holy crap. Sounds like the first ones are out. I don't know if it if it deployed or not. I'll try that again. Okay, there it goes. Whoa. This thing is not really taking off though. Oh boy, and we're going back down, so I need to go grab the uh, emergency stage. Emergency, 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 hey, hey, stop. Come on. Oh, the lag is so bad. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> oh no, dude. Come on. Right there. Okay. Whoa. Holy sh! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you guys. The whole thing, it, it was too heavy and it couldn't lift it up. And it, I had it abort the whole thing. Wow, this abort stage is really good though. Look how high we went. I didn't even use all the fuel. Oh my gosh. Look at all the carnage. Like all those little white squares are a piece. Wow. Oh man, oh those are the parachutes. Jeez, look at that thing. What? How's it standing up like that? I don't know, whatever. Some more. Oh. <laughs> hey, that actually worked though. I can recover those. And then there's all the... Oh, look at that trail of destruction. Good thing that the lag didn't prevent me from activating the abort stage though. Thank goodness. Ew. I launched a vessel that was $107,000, I believe, and I just recovered 3000 from it. Oof. That's a hit. Look at this. We're almost at half the amount of money that we started from. And I think, I mean, buying that was a huge part of that, but still. This is kind of pushing the limits 
And that's why I couldn't really take off. So what I'm going to do, both of these are kind of in use, huh? I'm going to take this one down and just remove this whole middle section here and then put that back. Because this is still plenty of weight for, let's say, like a, a landing stage or something, something for the moon. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the main thruster in the middle because that's the biggest engine I have currently and just have that deploy with all the rest of them so I'm gonna put that right down here just like that so now this whole entire bottom side fire <laughs> Alright you guys, so this is looking pretty good. The parachute design that I put on the boosters are working phenomenally. I Hopefully I can recover those, but I've been hearing explosions like the whole time. So it looks like this is too much weight on that middle booster. But you guys get the concept, and I think in episode 10 I will come up with something that will actually work functionally. You know, it's probably going to be smaller fuel tanks like I don't think I need to go this big necessarily or technically I could have some in the middle here that stages gets rid of all this extra weight on the bottom and then have some a little bit more lightweight to get us all the way into the moon orbit or something either way guys um, I'm gonna come down on this thing it's not gonna be able to carry us so I'm gonna have to just ditch it oh there it goes Whoa. You can see the side boosters coming down for landing as well. I think they're about to touch down. At least that one is. Here goes the main booster hitting the ground. <laughs> Darn, it looked like the side booster blew up. Well, how fast am I falling? Pretty quick. So, what's cool is now that I got this design, I'm just going to go ahead and deploy the rest of the parachutes. Oof, jeez. Look how crazy that looks. And I'm falling pretty slow. Okay, getting the clear shadow. Boom. Check that out. So there you go you guys, that is Asperger staging and obviously I need to do some work on it and I'm going to do that before I actually make the episode 10 because episode 10 is when I want to get to the moon, like officially. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you subscribe so you can see when I actually do land on the moon, wherever it's at. I'm pretty sure that little speck over there is Minimus. The moon's probably on the other side. Anyways guys, I'm, you're probably interested in how much of this stuff I can actually recover and how much money I got from that or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick so I got zero science uh, parts wise 15,000 considering it's a hundred thousand dollar ship not that good no experience from my brand new crew member and uh, I think the main thing is yeah that's what I thought so I can actually come over here and start recovering all these little pieces everywhere and oh I don't know I didn't see what that said it goes by too fast What? How am I supposed to read that? Anyways, 
So that's, I believe, all the pieces that I could have recovered. I'm going to have to work on it. I hope you guys subscribed, and I'll see you when I land on the moon. I'm Titanium Blood. Drive sideways.